Hello students, this is the second lecture of the Marketing Analytics course and this is the part one of Marketing Analytics definition. If in the last lecture I provided you uh, the Hansen's definition of Marketing Analytics, now I bring you a more updated version of the marketing analytics definition from Reckley and you can find this definition in his book which is called marketing analytics and according to Reckley marketing analytics is the process of identifying metrics that are valid indicators of marketing's performance in pursuit of its objectives tracking those metrics over time and using the results to improve how marketing does it work? So I will ask you to highlight two important words in this definition that is going to be in all class, in all this lecture, which are performance and metrics, okay? So there are four core components of the marketing analytics definition according to Rackley. The first one is valid indicators. There are many things about marketing's work and results that are measurable. The analytics process must determine which metrics have meaning. So one more time, we have the metrics were there. Uh, pursuit of objectives. The analytics process is ideally built to measure progress toward a set of objectives. And the objectives come first, followed by an identification of the relevant performance metrics. The third core component is tracking metrics over time. The analytics process isn't about taking a one-time snapshot of a performance measure, measurement, but tracking measurements over time to monitor trends in direction of performance. And the fourth core component is improve how marketing works. There are several reasons a marketing organization might implement an analytics process, but the most valuable reason is to improve performance. So, after presenting you the four core components according to Rackley, you can observe that performance is a very important concept inside the marketing analytics domain. But why marketing performance is so important? And to answer this question, I present you an important research article by Katsi Keyes and colleagues. It was published in the Journal of Marketing in 2017, where they analyzed 998 empirical study, studies about performance outcomes. And these studies must use uh, a performance measure as a dependent variable and as input variables the four P's that I presented you in the last class and the objective of this article of Katsikeyas and colleagues was to identify how performance marketing performance work so uh, the two most important conclusions about this article is that they found a large number of different performance outcome measures in marketing. I'm going to talk about this in the next slide. And that they are generally, generally weakly correlated with each other. I'm going to explore that in the next lecture, but in the final slide of this lecture, I'm go, I want to, I want that you turn your attention to this figure that is on Katsikeya's article, where they present uh, what they define as a marketing performance outcome chain and exemp exemplar measures inside this chain. First, we need to understand that everything starts Everything starts with a firm's marketing resources, strategy and actions, and realized marketing programs. And here, when I say marketing programs, I am referring to the four P's of the marketing mix that I uh, explained, briefly explained in the last class, in the last lecture. And they conceptualize performance inside two big dimensions which are operational performance 
and organizational performance. And inside these dimensions, they have different groups of marketing measures that managers and marketeers must track and understand their behavior inside the firm. So inside customer mindsets group, we have brand equity, perceived quality, satisfaction, and attitudinal loyalty. In the product market performance domain, we have more observable variables or measures, uh, which are unit sales, revenue, premium, market share, new product success. Uh, still inside operational performance, we have customer behavior measures, which are more behavior uh, related uh, indicators such as acquisition, acquisition, retention and word of mouth. And we also have customer level performance as a group inside uh, this figure, which are which refer to three uh, measures, share of wallet, profitability and lifetime value. Moving on from operational performance to organizational performance, uh, a fifth group is accounting performance related more accounting measures, which are sales revenue, revenue growth, cost, profit, margin, cash flow and leverage. And finally, financial marketing performance, which are related more to the institutional uh, domain of firms and companies, investor returns, equity risk, credit rating, and cost of capital. So this illustration, a very good illustration inside Katsikeya's article, it resumes uh, the main measures uh, that marketing uh, marketeers uh, must understand and conceptualize inside the organization and how they can be categorized inside two big dimensions of performance, which are operational and organizational performance. In the last lecture, in the next lectures, I'm going to continue in the definition of marketing analytics. And in the practical part of this course, uh, we are going to try to estimate some models uh, where we try to identify the influence of marketing programs uh, on different marketing performance measures, okay? So, thank you very much.